self-sabotage takes many different forms in relationship and which forms you manifest has everything to do with the type of attachment injuries that you suffered during childhood. In this series, I'm going to explore the different types of attachment injuries that are based on what your childhood trauma looked like. And then I'll give you a few tips for each one about how to overcome the developmental gaps that we end up with because of ongoing trauma triggers from childhood wounds. What we know is that insecure attachment comes from physical, sexual, or emotional abuse as well as emotional and physical neglect. And that disorganized attachment comes from growing up in a home that was neglectful and abusive. We also develop insecure attachment when our caregivers hurt us within the context of relationship. You've heard me say that in other videos. In this series, I'm going to drill down just a bit more. The first thing to recognize is that there are four different types of attachment traumas involving some kind of abandonment, and each of them shows up differently in your adult behaviors when you're triggered. The first is disruption trauma. This is where you're separated from your parent and the separation was never repaired. The second involves being victimized by a parent who is the perpetrator of sexual abuse. The third is when your parent becomes lost to you, as in death. And the fourth is when your parent abandons you. There are also attachment traumas that have to do with your parent treating you inappropriately in your interpersonal relationship with them. We call those enmeshment traumas, and there are three types. The first is when a parent romanticizes their child and treats the child as if the child were their adult friend. If you grew up in this situation, you were forced to become your parent's emotional support system often through the use of guilt if you didn't offer the support that the parent wanted. I grew up in this kind of home. The second enmeshment trauma is when the helicopter parent takes protection and decision-making so far that the child begins to believe that they live life for their parents and doesn't develop a good sense of who they are separate from their parents. The third type is when the therapist is incapacitated physically, mentally, or financially. Addiction falls into this category. This is when the parent cannot fulfill their role of caregiver, so the child steps up to do the job. Next week, I'm gonna talk about how the fight, flight, freeze, or fawn reactions fit into the attachment styles. Here's your homework. I'm Tamara Ridge, the therapist that's been there, helping you understand and heal from childhood trauma.